Good morning, everyone. We are coming live to you today from a very special location of a new business in Anderson, and we are at Anderson Pharmacy. We are here with the owner, Sherry. Hello. Who is slightly nervous to be on live, <laughs> but it's okay because she made a completely organized list of all the things we need to cover for you guys. So, Sherry, tell us about Anderson Pharmacy. So, um, we're open in Anderson in the Old Ferries Pharmacy building across from the post office. We opened April 15th of this year, really slow start with COVID. Um, we've been building, have some amazing customers, very supportive. Um, it's been great to get to know them. And uh, I have two employees from the Old Ferries Pharmacy, Taryn and Sandy. And then we also just welcomed Jasmine. She's uh, my daughter-in-law and she was working at Cottonwood Drugs before this. Um, and we also um, have another pharmacist that'll be on duty today, Jay. She's amazing. She's gonna be here to help us because we're gonna be welcoming everybody with our grand opening today. Awesome, okay, so now tell us about the history of this location. You guys are the only independently owned pharmacy in Shasta County. That's correct. Left, correct. Correct. Yes. And this has been a pharmacy for a long time, right? Correct. Actually, Mr. Jolly opened it or built the building in 1960. And he, I don't know how long he ran it. He sold it to Dan Ferry, changed the name to Ferry's Pharmacy, which was closed last year. And then we came in and opened up a new one. Okay. We did a nice remodel and we're welcoming new customers. Awesome. Yeah, you guys, they have such a cute location here in terms of they've got a ton of local products and gifts. And tell us about that portion and how, where these different items come from. Oh, so um, we have many different vendors, but our favorite ones are our local artists. We have a lady who makes the beautiful soaps over there, bath bombs, lotions. She's from here in Anderson. We have a lady who makes aprons, and one who makes masks. We have a, a sign vendor, and we love to welcome the local community. Um, if you have anything you want me to check out, bring it down. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and they have a, an amazing variety of antiques in here, too. So, like, they have these different um, things that are set up with, like, the really old, like, this is the way it used to be done back in the day kind of pharmacy stuff. Um, and just a lot of history in this building, a lot of history in terms of this being a pharmacy in Anderson. And we love, you know, a lot of our local pharmacies have either sold to major corporations or are no longer um, operating as independently on pharmacies. And so this is a great way for obviously an essential service for all of us that um, pretty much everybody these days needs something from a pharmacy at some point. And so this is a great way to keep your money local and keep it in the community. So why don't you tell us, let's walk through a little bit just so they can get see the store. But tell us about the different services that you offer here. So we offer, of course, um, free consultation with pharmacists. We also um, do Medicare Part D analysis. If you need help with choosing a program, we can um, help you on the internet find a program that's good for you. We can uh, we do genetic testing for cancer screening. Um, we also oh loads of things. What you our list is there. Okay, so they accept all major insurances. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so if you have a prescription that is currently at another pharmacy and you want to move it here so that you're, like I said, keeping your money local in our community, you guys do all of the work for them on that, right? We do. What does that look like? We just need your name, address, uh, phone number, and allergies to medications, and then we take it from there. You, it will, with a list of your medications, we contact your pharmacy, we transfer the prescriptions, or we contact the doctor's office if there are no uh, refills. So we just get everything. We can sync the meds up to where they're all due at the same time each month. It's your preference. We are here for you and it, we offer personalized service. We actually answer our own phones, <laughs> which is unusual in, in, in today's world. Yeah. So, and okay. we also accept uh, Far Northern, which okay. is a in, like of an insurance for a handicap. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now, tell us about your personal history, because you've been in the pharmacy industry for a long time, and you were retired, right? I did retire, and I actually started out as a pharmacy technician. Okay. So, I, and then I went to pharmacy school, and um, when I graduated, I had a friend who owned a pharmacy, and he said, hey, I'd love for you to come and manage it, and that was Jerome Wells, and he owned Latimer's in Las Molinas. I ended up buying it from him and I had it for 15 years. And then I retired and um, then 
I guess I got tired after three years and <laughs> tired of being retired. And so when this building became available, I thought, let's give it a go. I live really close. And I thought, oh, no more commuting to work. This would be a nice venture. So here we are. Okay, so what has it looked like trying to open? I assume you had plans to open prior to COVID. We did. And what did that look like for you, opening in the middle of a pandemic? Scary. We didn't yeah. know. I thought this would be over in a couple months. I just thought, okay, yeah, let's, we all. let's open slow. <laughs> let's get used to the process. Yeah. We didn't have all the insurances to start when you start mm -hmm. out as an independent. It's different than a chain. So I thought, okay, so we're going to we're gonna work up to this and you didn't we didn't work up to it very fast and right. so but we've been growing people mm -hmm. really responded well they um, we love our customers they love us and word of mouth and Facebook has For really sure. really helped yeah definitely so you guys this is a another really good example of you know, every, every business has a really unique story to tell in our community and a reason why they're here, a reason why they choose to open or have been open for so long. And for those businesses that are brand new, you know, they had plans to open prior to COVID, something that none of us could have predicted. We all thought would be over in a couple months, most of us anyways. Um, and so it, it presents such a hardship for these businesses to really get the word out about what they're doing what they have to offer and to have that growth that they need to get off the ground and running. So really fantastic opportunity for us to support these new businesses and to have things like pharmacies that are still locally owned because that's something that's becoming so rare these days. So tell us about some of your future plans for services because I know you've got some things coming Definitely. that are going to be really exciting, especially with COVID. Yes, exactly. So I've been granted laboratory status, and that means that I can actually do COVID testing, and I have a machine on order that will allow me to do 15-minute rapid, <coughs> excuse me, COVID testing. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so that will hopefully happen in the next three to four weeks. Um, you get your results immediately. If you have to return to work, it would be excellent. Um, we were supposed to be in Hawaii last week. <laughs> we couldn't go. You needed a 72-hour negative you know, test, mm -hmm. um, which we couldn't get. You have to right. drive 90 miles to, to do that. So um, I think it'll be a great service to this area. We have other um, things I, I'll probably talk about in about a month as long as I want to secure a few other things before we announce them. But that's the greatest thing. We also have, we'll have strep testing, um, influenza A and B testing at the same time. Okay, so. awesome. So yes. some really good services coming out. Like I said, they've got more coming down the pipeline that they can't talk about just yet, but they have a lot of growth plans. And then tell us about the business going in next door too. Oh, my daughter is opening Cafe Calico next door. Um, she'll have breakfast and lunch, and it'll be coffees, teas, smoothies. She'll have paninis, deli sandwiches, and she's really good cook. And her boyfriend's going to be there as well, and they're amazing together. And uh, it, that, we're waiting for, for a couple pieces of equipment and then an inspection from the health department. And then they should be up and running. Okay, super yeah, exciting. Very okay, exciting. Okay, so today, mm -hmm. the grand opening, mm -hmm. finally. Yes. Finally yes. Get to have celebration. A yes. 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 We all need a celebration these days. So <laughs> tell us about what's happening here today. So from 10 to 2, come on down. We're going to have food, prizes, drawing every 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to be, um, uh, Kathleen, who has the soaps right there, will be here. She's going to have a drawing every. We're sw swapping. Hers is every hour. Ours is on the every half hour. Okay. There's going to be uh, things like the Montana West purses, mm -hmm. the forehead thermometers, the no-touch thermometers, uh, pamper baskets. We have belt buckles for men. We have Montana jewelry. We have a bunch of this that we're giving away back there. So prizes galore, food, fun. Um, come and join us. It'll be a lot of fun. Love to meet you. Free consultations with the pharmacist today. Well, the, like I said, there's two of us on duty today to help everybody out. Okay, awesome. All right. Okay, <laughs> so we covered her list. So again, you guys, we're at Anderson Pharmacy. They are at 2940 East Street in Anderson, the old Ferry Pharmacy building across from the post office. They are open 9 to 6, Monday through Friday. You got to fact check me, make sure I remember. Uh-huh. 
Um, they accept all major insurance. They can also help you with things like transferring your prescriptions from other pharmacies, um, getting a free consultation to get you set up to use this as your regular pharmacy. Um, even for those of us in Reading, you know, it's, it's not a far drive to come down here. It took about 10 minutes for us to get here. And I know for me, I'd much rather have my prescription filled at a pharmacy like this that I know is local, it's independently owned, we're supporting the local community when we give these places our business. And so I'm gonna make sure any prescriptions that I need, I get filled here. Yep. Free delivery. Free delivery within 10 miles, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are within 10 miles of their location, they'll do free delivery as well. But even if you're not, it's really not that far to go. So grand opening today, they'll have prizes. They have amazing things coming down the line too with new services. So great time for us to support this business, show them some love, keep them encouraged during this time when it was so hard to open in the middle of a pandemic. So grand opening today from 10 to two, food and prizes. Follow them on Facebook, please, yeah. because they're gonna have some big announcements coming out. I know I'm super excited about the idea of having that rapid COVID test. I think that's a game changer for so many situations where we need to know right away for people to go to work and for our kids to be in school and all of those types of things. So that should be here probably in a weeks. Three to four weeks. We'll say weeks. Yeah. Um, who knows? Um, and so again, they're at 2940 East Street in Anderson across from the post office. If you wanna call them and talk to them about maybe the services that you need, the prescriptions that you need filled, um, and what that looks like for moving that over, for starting with them, their phone number is 378-5566. And you guys have an app? Right? We do have an app. It's a okay. Good Neighbor Pharmacy app. Okay. And I'll put it, I'll link it on Facebook so that it can be downloaded if they can't locate it. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that yes. allows them to... They can um, refill prescriptions on there. They can actually put um, their farm, other pharmacy information and request transfers through there. We do like the initial setup through... Right. It can, right yeah, through the phone, yeah, at least speaking to us on the phone and... For sure. Um, or in person. Yeah. yeah. And I love that in talking with Sherry and her staff prior to the video, like it's such a big deal for them to know their patients and know their clientele that's coming in here, which is something that is just so rare in our world these days too. I mean, I, if I go to pick up a prescription right now, they have no idea who I am. I'm just another name on a white bag going through a drive through and it's very impersonal. And so they really want you to come in here for your first consultation. They want to get to know you and so that they're able to help you with all of your different needs, regardless of what those may be. So again, grand opening today, food and prizes. We are at Anderson <laughs> Pharmacy, 2940 East Street. They are open Monday through Friday from nine to six. Phone number is 378-5566. Sherry's gonna put the link to the app in the comments so that you can download that and start getting your uh, prescriptions transferred here but they'd really love for you to come in and meet them today. So we can't turn down free food and prizes. Who doesn't need that right now, right? Right. A little bit of happiness on your Wednesday. It goes a long way. Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Whatever, right? It's 2020. Who knows what day it is? So Tuesday. So again, today from 10 to 2, they'll have their grand opening. Come on down. Meet Sherry and her staff. They're really amazing. You guys will love this location. Sherry, thank you so much for having thank us you. out. Thank you. You did awesome. I appreciate we it. We covered everything on the list. <laughs> And thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Please share this video. Please help Sherry get the word out about her business and what they have to offer. And please come down and support them. Thank you so much for everything you do for our local businesses and our thank community. You. We appreciate you guys immensely. And we will see you tomorrow.